Every time I sit down to film, I swear to God, there's always like a garbage truck or something. Why? Why? Also, I cut myself with a staple today. It hurt a lot, and it would have come out of my finger. And it was a scary experience. But I'm okay, so thumbs up <laughs> to that. Is that readathon? Or I guess you wouldn't say rib sat readathon because it, rib sat is readathons in the title. Oh, this is gonna be a long video. It's Jay, and today I am here with my May TBR. I have, I think, four, five, six, seven, seven bucks for the month of May, which I'm pretty sure I can get through way more than seven, but this is just my tentative TBR. So that I don't, you know, burn myself out because. Knowing me, I'd probably read seven books in the first week and then be like, FML, I'm not going to read anything else. Wait. Now we're making sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> so without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> so the first four books that I'm going to show you are actually the books that I'm reading for Ribset, round eight. My TBR was put up a couple days ago, so if you guys want to check that out to get the full synopsis of these books, then head over to there because I'm just going to show them to you. Because I don't want to synopsisize, that's not a word, but it's fine, them all over again, so... Yeah. The first two books are actually part of a booktube tour that Grace is hosting over on Loving Dumb Books. I'll leave the links down below for Grace's channel and the booktube tours if you guys are interested in checking them out. It's a really cool concept. I would highly recommend it. So the books are The Novice and The Inquisition by Taran Matharu and I'm about 20 pages left of this book and I'm obsessed with it. I'm loving it. It's so so good. And then I'm going to start this one right after I'm done filming this, probably. This is the first book in the Summoner Trilogy. This is the second book. It's coming out in May. So if you guys are interested in demons and stuff like that, you know, you should probably look into these books because it's real good. And I'm going to have a review up for both of these on my channel on May 16th. So if you guys are interested in my full thoughts on them, then come back on May 16th and y'all can, you know, hear my thoughts. The next is... Zoe Letting Go by Nora Price, and if you want to see the synopsis for this book, or Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, then head over to the Ripstat TBR where I talk about them. But yeah, these are the third and fourth books that I'm hoping to read this month of May. Then the fifth book that I'm hoping to get to, because my mom just read it and said it was real, real, real good, and I haven't read it yet, even though I said I was going to read it in April, and it is Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. I'm not going to give a synopsis because it's the second book in a series, aka The Lunar Chronicles, aka the first book is Cinder, and I was obsessed with it. It was so good, and I loved it. And therefore, I need to read the second book so that I can read Cress and Winter. Even though they're not in my possession, but they will be in my possession one day. One day. The sixth book that I'm hoping to get to is The First by PJ Ferguson. I was sent this by PJ and I read his first book, Daddy, and I'm sure we all know by now, if you've been on this channel for a while, I am obsessed with Daddy. It is so good. This is PJ's second book, and I'm not 100% sure what it's about other than it's a vampire book, and also he says a disclaimer that if you are very religious or into that kind of stuff, maybe go in with a open mind because it's very controversial. I'm not religious, so I don't really have a problem with it. I'm just gonna go into it and see what I think of it. But I'm very excited because PJ's my homeboy, and I loved his first book, so I'm hoping I'm gonna love his second book. And the final book that I'm hoping to read in May is All Unquiet Things by Anna Jerzab. It's about a girl named Carly who ends up being killed, and her two friends, Neely and Audrey, have to try to figure out who the killer is. But they don't like each other, so it's like difficult or something like that. It's like a murder mystery. I haven't really heard anything about this book. I got it off a book outlet like two years ago. So, you know, I figured I should probably get to it since it's been like two years and it's been sitting on my shelf, so why not? Yeah. Alright guys, so that was the seven books that I'm hoping to read this May. I feel like I can probably do it with the rib sat. Because usually when it's a readathon, I go ham. So, you know, we'll see if it's actually the case sometimes. Because sometimes I go ham and then other times I'm like, no, I'm just gonna lie in my bed and do nothing with my life. So, you know, we'll see which Jay shows up to the party. I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye! Carly, no, my two friends are not Carly because that's the girl who died. What?